Well, I gave myself a shave, really kept myself up today, and went to the movie theater. Yes, the movie theaters are slightly open again. Uh, not too many movies out as of yet, but I've gone a couple times uh, to enjoy some quality flicks like F9. It was okay. And Black Widow, which was all right. Just different things. I honestly, I wish we could just see good movies that that I know are really, really good, and then see those on the big screen, which is what happened tonight. Bo Burnham, Inside. I actually talked about that already on this channel before, uh, but there was actually a theatrical release of the film, which is pretty awesome. Um, they were select showings at first. They were only going to be done tonight for Thursday. One showing. That was it. Uh, that showing sold out pretty quick. Um, I didn't follow up with my friends in time about going and seeing it, and by the time I finally got it all settled that, oh yeah, we should definitely go, the it, the screening had pretty much sold out. Uh, but it was good timing, because basically the theater then added more showings, and the second showing, which was at, uh, you know, instead of the 7 o'clock showing, they had a 7.30, that was actually on the bigger screen. That was on the bigger screen, the bigger theater room, um, which is great, and again, packed crowd. It was probably the most packed I've seen the movie all year, which was interesting because I heard people in the audience kind of singing along at times, not too loudly, it wasn't distracting or anything, not that I would be super against it anyway, I love a crowd that gets really into a movie like that, but you could tell that they knew the lyrics to the song, so it was like everyone here has pretty much seen it. Everyone here has seen the special, uh, some of the friends that I went with, um, one had seen it, everybody had actually seen it once before, um, but one had seen it three times and another one had seen it five times and they saw it again on the big screen so despite the fact that you can go on netflix most people already have a netflix subscription and the fact that you can listen to the music on apple music or spotify or anything like that people are still coming to the theater paying the you know it was an upcharge too it wasn't like a regular showing it was like a special screening so it was a slightly more expensive ticket and people were still paying it to go see it and it was really worth it. It was really worth seeing on the big screen. And actually, my uh, fiance had not seen the movie yet, but this was her first time, and she really enjoyed it as well. Um, she wasn't the biggest Bo Burnham fan, I guess, but that was mostly just from what she had experienced with me in the past years of the different songs that I liked. Um, and it was kind of interesting because, you know, I felt like for years I was playing his music that I really appreciated. I'm like, listen to the lyrics on this one. Listen to the to the beat and how he kind of mixes that and kind of fools people like listen to it and um she never really got into it but then she had heard the song where he was you know said oh i feel like shit you know that whole song um it, it became a tiktok meme and she thought it was the funniest thing ever and i was like yo that that's bo burnham you're listening to bo burnham so i figured maybe she'd like to rest the special i did have her listen to some other songs uh, and that was a couple weeks ago, but now that they had it on the big screen, I was like, come and watch the whole thing. And, uh, she had a good time with it. Everybody had a good time with it. And, um, you know, I, I was, at, I gave the movie straight up five stars. And, you know, I don't know what I said in the last video, if I kind of wasn't sure if this was better than, um, Make Happy. But, you know what, I, I've, I've changed my mind if I didn't make a decision in that video. Um, this is his best work. Like, I think very much that this is probably the best thing he's ever made. And I at first wasn't considering it a movie just because it's more like a comedy special. Um, which I don't know where I came with that uh, thinking. I don't know where I c came up with that because honestly, it's a movie. It is. It's an hour and a half. It is kind of like a musical almost because it's mostly made of music. And there's filmmaking techniques, there's camera tricks and things like that. So it's a movie. I shouldn't have even done that. I mean, like, and I think it was because when I think about the list in my head of top 10 movies, I don't usually include things like documentaries or specials. Every year there's a bunch of comedy specials I watch. I, I watch quite a few actually. And But even if some of them are really, really good and I maybe even give five stars, I don't always put them on my top 10 films of the year list. And that also goes for documentaries. I, I love documentaries, but that's mostly just because I don't want the whole list to be filled with just documentaries and comedy specials, because that would basically be the whole top 10 list. There'd be like no narrative films on there. Um, so I was using that same rule for this film, but you know, I, I think I changed my mind because I'm like, this is something different. This isn't a special. He calls it a special, but 
it's not a comedy special. It's It really is a movie. It really is trying to get a point across and reflects on 2020 as a whole. And I uh, I already talked about it before. So if you want to hear more me talk about it more, you can go watch that. But yeah, I think this will probably go up there as maybe my favorite movie of 2021. But uh, we'll see. I guess it's a little preview for my top 10 list that will be released at the beginning of 2022. But for now, yeah, I dug it. Dug it the second time. It's just as good. I noticed a couple extra things this time around. I never realized that he had like a version of himself flashing the screen, kind of like a, a cigarette burn, as I call them in movies. Uh, I, I didn't realize that when I originally watched it on Netflix, but I, I noticed it this time, so that was kind of funny. Um, it's a real quick moment. It's kind of almost hard to catch, but uh, little things like that. I was glad I caught this time around, and uh, yeah, if they ever show it again in theaters, I don't know. This might have to become one of those that I just go see in theaters, because it was worth it. Even if I can get it on Netflix right now, I don't care. It was worth seeing on a big screen, and I, I think you should go see it on the big screen. And if you haven't watched it yet, at least watch it on Netflix. For, what are you doing? It's so great.